Welcome to the Archeo Ventures Project. I'm Katie Paul. And I'm Justine Benanti. And here's what we're digging into this week. As many of you may know, Justine does a lot of work on the African Slave Rex Project. And when you think about slavery in America, people typically think about slavery in the South. But what people don't know as much about are the efforts in the North to combat the slavery that was taking place. And that's one of the things we're going to discuss today. One of the reasons I wanted to talk about it is actually because the slave trade was very poignant in Brooklyn, and I'm from Brooklyn Heights, and right around the corner from where I grew up is Plymouth Church, which is actually called the Grand Depot um, in the Underground Railroad. Uh, it was founded in 1847, and the very first reverend was Reverend Henry Ward Beecher, and he was a, a pioneer of the abolitionist movement. Um, he had speakers like Abraham Lincoln, um, so, uh, Sojourner Truth, Fred, uh, Frederick Douglass, um, and you know, by 1847, slavery had been abolished in New York State uh, in 1827. Um, at that point, slaves had to be manumitted. Uh, and what does manumitted mean? So literally, it means by hand to to release. So they had to owners had to release their slaves. But at the same time, while everybody thinks of the North as you know this pillar of abolition, there were still very many people um, who were trying to send their slaves back to the South. So uh, approximately how many slaves were there in, in Brooklyn? We typically think of New York and Brooklyn as kind of a, a progressive melting pot. Were right. there that many slaves there that they had to have such a massive movement? Well, I mean, even in the very first U.S. Census in 1790, a third of their people were enslaved peoples. Um, wow. You know, 1790, that's 4,500 people, so 1,500 of them were um, in bondage. So, I mean, for me... That's what sparks, you know, my first interest in, in learning about slavery and the slave trade, you know, going forward with my career, this pillar of the community literally around the corner, Plymouth Church. Uh, and, you know, I just think it was important to recognize its contribution uh, for Absolutely. better or for worse in, in many ways. Well, I'm sure you're proud to be from such an incredible area. Well, you know, Brooklyn. <laughs> um, but that's actually all the time we have for today. I'm Justine Benanti. And I'm Katie Paul. And thanks for getting dirty with us.